Good day, everyone. I am Verhel Bungay, an Associate Professor of the Department of Chemical Engineering, De La Salle University. And on behalf of my students, Franz Elison Balde and Joshua Romelinta, I will be presenting our study entitled A Kinetic Study on the Catalytic Carbon Dioxide Classification of Pine Coal and Lignite Char Blends Using Potassium Carbonate and Calcium Carbonate. The Philippines is known to consume coal and highly dependent on it with an average importation volume of about 29 billion metric tons in the last four years. Most of the coal are utilized by the power industry and imported mainly from Indonesia. 94% of the coal imported from Indonesia is consumed by the power industry in which 87% of the total national coal consumption and importation are due to this industry. The country, however, exports coal at an average volume of 8 million metric tons, mostly to China and to some neighboring countries such as South Korea, India, Cambodia, Thailand, and Taiwan. An average of 102,276 gigawatt hour of power was generated in the past four years and about 55% of power generated in the country comes from coal-based power plants. Only 22% of the power generations comes from renewable sources and of which 1% only comes from the utilization of biomass. In this study, we aim to study the kinetics of alkali carbonate cut gasification of fine coal and lignite char blends. Specifically, this study aims to determine the effects of different blend ratios of pine cone and lignite char on the rate of gasification. The study will evaluate the catalytic activity of alkali carbonate catalysts, specifically potassium carbonate and calcium carbonate, on the gasification reaction of pine cone and lignite blends. And finally, to, sum, to simulate these gasification reactions using various gas solid reaction models. Pine cone is a lignocellulosic forest residue and therefore considered as biomass, will be used in this study and evaluated to have value added importance in terms of energy production. Lignite coal is the lowest rank of coal with minimal gross calorific value due to its high moisture content. This study will deal on the reaction of the, in the, on the gasification reaction, which is a thermal conversion technology, which involves conversion of carbonaceous materials to gaseous products with a significant heating value. It involves the transfer of the combustion value of a solid fuel to a gaseous energy carrier. Due to the high importation and cost of coal, this study will utilize pine coals and blended with lignite coals. So what are the benefits of blending? First, it neutralizes and lessens the emissions from the environment. It was also proven to improve overall efficiency of the gasification process, stabilize gasification conditions, and most importantly, to utilize agricult agricultural waste in the Philippines. For our experimental overview, Indonesian lignite and one species of pine cone called the Pinus eleoti will be used and blended to form 10 milligrams of sample to be, to be gasified in a thermogravimetric analyzer, specifically in 100 microliter platinum pan. The catalysts are added to the samples by a wet impregnation and uh, samples were prepared for two runs. Classification will be carried out from temperatures ranging from 700 to 900 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius interval, using carbon dioxide and argon mixture as classifying agent 
with partial pressure of 0.60 atmosphere carbon dioxide and 0.40 atmosphere argon. The blends will be prepared such that one sample will contain 80% pine cones, 20% lignite, and another sample containing 50% pine cones and 20% lignite. To serve as a baseline data, 100% pine cones and 100% lignite. Lignite will also be gasified under the same condition. The catalyst, potassium carbonate and calcium carbonate will be loaded to the catalyst via wet impregnation at 1% weight loading. The experiment will produce time conversion plots to be used to different gas solid reaction models to obtain kinetic parameters, our heinous plot, and the comparison between the catalyzed and uncatalyzed mounts will be evaluated using the rate enhancement factor. The TGA gasification experiment will be done first, setting the TGA isothermally for two minutes to stabilize the sample. Temperature will be ramped to 100 degrees Celsius at a heating rate of 90 degrees Celsius per minute then followed by isothermal at, the, at 100 degrees, 110 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes for the drying process. Then it will be run to the desired gasification temperature, 700, 800, 900 degrees Celsius, and again isothermal at the gasification temperature. At the gasification temperature, once the volatile matter has been removed, the mixture of carbon dioxide and argon gas will be injected into the TGA to start the gasification process. For a certain period of time, the sample will be allowed to react. And finally, air with argon will be injected into the TGA to completely burn the sample. At this stage, there will be two parts wherein the fixed carbon is gasified using carbon dioxide and argon, and the other section is the complete combustion of the remaining fixed carbon. Once the time conversion data is obtained, the various gas-solid reaction models are to be evaluated. First, the theoretical models, which are the volumetric model, shrinking core model, and the random core model. The volume model the volumetric model assumes that the reaction of carbon and gasifying agent occurs at active sites throughout the entire particle. The shrinking core model assumes that the overall rate of reaction is limited by the rate of mass transfer to and from the exterior of the charred particle. In this model, model all of the reactant gas is consumed either on the exterior of the cold particle or within the pores close to the particle exterior surface. Batia and Perlmutter in 1980 describes increase in pore surface area as gasification proceeds, which results in the merging of pores. This is now known as the random pore model. A modification of the volumetric model was developed in Kasaoka in 1985, which is a semi empirical model that modified the homogeneous model by the addition of exponent beta to the time component. The extended modified volumetric model is a model similar to the modified volumetric model developed by Wu in 2009. This table shows the approximate analysis of coal and pine cones. Lignite coal, which is designated as L and pine cones C, at an average have the same moisture and ash content. Pine cones have more volatile matter and less fixed carbon than lignite coal. For the gasification of the, the different blends using CO2, figure two shows the char conversion of uncatalyzed gasification of different blends at 900 degrees Celsius. The blends containing 8% pine cones and 50% pine cones exhibited an almost similar gasification behavior 
under these conditions. Pine cone gasification showed the highest gasification rate due to the inherent catalytic properties of its ash. Blends with more pine, con more pine content gasified at a faster rate in the presence of calcium carbonate. Figure 3 shows the char conversion of calcium carbonate catalyzed gasifications of different blends at 900 degrees Celsius. The catalyst, along with the inherent alkali content of pine cones, further enhanced the gasification even temperatures lower than 900 degrees Celsius. For the, for the two catalysts used, Figure 4 shows the conversion of 80% pine and 20% lignite blends with catalysts at 900 degrees Celsius. As shown in the figure, the blend containing 80% pine cones, potassium carbonate was proven to be effective at 700 degrees Celsius compared to other temperatures due to the melting point of this catalyst at about 891 degrees Celsius. Potassium carbonate, on the other hand, improved the gasification rate at higher temperatures and showed synergistic effects with the pine coal blends. To observe how the reaction is improved or enhanced using the catalyst, figure five shows the reaction rate constants of the catalytic gasification reactions of pure and blended samples at 900 degrees Celsius. For the blend containing 80% pine cones and 20% lignite, calcium carbonate showed enhancement in the gasification reactions at higher temperatures. Both catalysts were seen to have the same behavior for the blends containing equal proportions of pine cone and lignite. As a result of the reaction constants obtained from the different, from the different models, figure six shows the arrhenius plots for the 8% pine and 20% lignite blend. From this figure, higher pine con Pine cone contents on blends resulted to lower activation energies. Calcium carbonate was observed to be more effective for higher pine contents, while potassium carbonate for lower pine cone contents. And finally, to determine the effectiveness of the gas solid reaction models, figure seven shows the simulation results by plotting the R squared of different gas solid reaction models evaluated. As seen from this figure, the random form model RPM was effective among the, th the other two theoretical models. On the other hand, the extended modified volumetric model was proven to be more, most effective among the gas solid reaction models. With the RPM effective, among the theoretical models, it can be assumed that the reaction is a surface reaction rate limited mechanism rather than the mass transfer rate limited a mechanism in which the gasifying agent diffuses to and from the exterior of the char particle. The average R squared values from the different models are 0.9521 for the volumetric model, 0.9513 for the shrinking form model, and the highest among the theoretical models is the random form model with an R squared value of 0.9726. Among the semi empirical and empirical models, the modified volumetric model gave, the high, uh, gave an R squared value of 0 0.9900, while for the extended modified volumetric model, the R squared is 0.9984. And finally, as a conclusion of our study, the blend 80% pine cones and 20% lignite had, uh, had higher reaction rate constants and higher activation energies than that of the blend containing 50% pine cones and 50% lignites. Calcium carbonate reduced the activation energy better than potassium carbonate with calcium carbonate more effective for higher pine cone contents and at higher gasification temperatures, while potassium carbonate was more effective for lower pine cone, pine cone contents and at lower gasification temperatures. 
The extended modified volumetric model is the best fit for the simulation of the gas reactions with EMVM as more effective, followed by MVM, RPM, PM, and FCM. Thank you very much for your kind attention.